Hello everyone, a random gnome here. And before I start off this tutorial, I got a new mic. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to tell or not. I'm not sure if it's better or worse, but hopefully it is better. It's a really nice, nice headset. But anyways, let's move on to the tutorial. I am making a tutorial on how to make a Minecraft server that's up to date because I have a tutorial that works, like my old tutorial. It's, I think, almost like a year old now. Uh, people are having problems saying it's outdated, but it actually still works but some people have a hard time following like you know older stuff so this is all updated so let's just go ahead and do what we gotta do first thing you wanna know is your IPv4 address so you're gonna wanna go to run and then go type in CMD so you can get to your command prompt and then when you're there you type in ipconfig and then scroll up until you see the IPv4 address um, I'm not actually sure how this is on Windows XP or Windows... I'm sure it's the same on Windows Vista, but I'm not actually sure for the other OS's and whatnot. So once you have that, you're ready to go set up your ports. And how you do that is you're going to see default gateway right there, 192.168.1.1. And that's what we're going to type. I already have it typed in right there, so let's get in. And um, right here... Uh, depending on what your um, router is uh, it has a default username and password that is located on the router so most people most routers are uh, the username is admin and the password is password that should be it by default unless it's different for your router or if you changed it yourself okay and then um, once you're actually on the router website you're gonna wanna scroll down or look around it should look kinda similar probably not exactly the same but you're gonna wanna find port forwarding and port triggering and once you're there click on add custom service and then you're gonna wanna name that minecraft just so you know what you're talking about I mean what you're doing in case you come back and you're like what is this and you don't know what it is just name it minecraft so you know and then uh... for the starting port it's two 25565 and it's exactly the same for the ending port and then you might be wondering why there's a missing thing right here uh, it's because uh, the thing doesn't really know what your local thing is right now like uh, it's on point seven right now and it changes sometimes like when you restart your router sometimes it, the number changes so if it change like if you restart your router be prepared to change the number so it's point seven right now so we're gonna want to put that point seven and apply that and your port forwarding is all good to go and all we really need now is to get the minecraft server software okay I don't want to update so hopefully it doesn't make me alright so you're just going to want to go to google type in minecraft and it'll take you directly to the first link is the Minecraft homepage, and you can see over here play Minecraft. You can hit download, and there's going to be my multiplayer server. You hit download on multiplayer Minecraft server exe, and then once you have that, you're going to want to make a folder for where you're storing this server. So just make a folder, maybe call it Minecraft server, whatever and then right click this open where it is whatever it doesn't matter just drag in the minecraft server exe into the folder and then once you open that just run it now what's that that's gonna um... as you can see, if you come back to this folder you're gonna notice a lot more files and the reason that is is because it needs uh... all this information to run the server and it automatically puts it in the folder for you so you don't have to go looking for stupid stuff so yeah, that's what that's what this failed to load all this stuff means. That's and then it's just gonna download it. And that's a one time thing. When you first start the server, it's gonna do that, and that's the only time it's gonna do that. And um Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you what each of these things do. Server. Alright, this is server properties. Uh right now it's probably not openable. It, you probably can't even open it right now. So what you're gonna wanna do is I, I'm, I've already done this, so I'm not going to. And he's on the server before I even ask him to. Oh well. Alright, right click server and click open with, and then you're going to want to click notepad if this server properties are not openable. And, um, and once you have that, yeah, you, and then you can just open it. 
and there's a lot of different settings you can choose like what you want to call your level if you want people to be allowed to fly uh, there's PvP how many people and whatnot and then if you want whitelisting or and then uh, online mode if you make that false you can actually have cracked players join your server which is not very cool because you should buy the game and my friend already joined the server just so I could show you guys that this worked but he joined it too early and now I'm gonna show you how he joined alright I'm gonna go to like I'm gonna tell you how he did it what how I got him to join he's gonna join off of your public IP address so you're gonna google what's my IP and right here is what you're gonna wanna give to him just copy and paste it I'm not gonna show you what it is because you know I don't want you guys knowing my IP alright so once you have that you can just give that to your friend and it's ready to go so uh, I'm gonna tell him to hop back on hop back on alright let me log in hopefully I, he does get back on even if he didn't you saw him get on so whatever alright direct connect you can either type in that IPv4 address that you got in your command prompt to get into your own server or you can just type in local host and then once you're in alright I have this dumb client on I didn't mean to have but who cares alright as you can see see look he's calling my server gay it's messed up it's messed up but anyways that's all we needed to see and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching and if this worked then uh, give me a like and a favorite if you want and if it didn't work <laughs> if it didn't work then uh, hopefully I can help you out but if you can google it first or try to figure it out on your own because I'm not really sure on everything so uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys later peace